What's going on, YouTube? Well, it's another episode of Chuck's Hobby Spot, and guess what I'm going to do again? I'm going to go ahead and give the Iceman another shout-out. I was at... <laughs> Look at that. I was at a model club uh, meeting again, you know, to get together with my guys, the model car mafia, and... Uh, I found out the last minute that Joel Mendoza was going to be at this model car meeting. He's the guy that does the Iceman collection. So, so I immediately, I, I messaged him and, and I said, Hey, you're going to go to one of our meetings and, and, uh, I, I'd like to, you know, get some stuff from you. And he says that, you know, well, he says that he's going to bring a few things, but he, I guess he wasn't ready to take another order. So I, I just told him I had dibs on whatever he was going to display over there. So, and, uh, I, I, I walked away with some pretty cool stuff. Uh, these kits are, I mean, these engine kits are priced, right? They're 20 bucks for any one of his engine kits. And how can you beat that? You really can't. Uh, these things are so detailed, it, it's incredible, and, and all of us are in awe, and, and I think he's going to start coming to our club meetings and stuff. I, I, I'm not sure, but I think he's going to be like an official uh, Mafia member, and, and that's really cool to have somebody like that in the club, and I have no problem spending $20 on an engine. 20 bucks. I mean, wait till you see what's in these packs. I mean, for $20, you, they're incredible. And uh, I got to meet him, and, and he's a really good dude. So I'm I'm actually looking forward to the next time he comes. I don't think he's going to be there till October again, but I, I'm I'm going to make sure I order something this time. I didn't know he was coming this last time, so which I'm thankful he did because I'm kind of stocked up for a little while, and it gives me lots of options because I have a few other engines I bought from him, and it gives me lots of options to pick what I want to pick when I want to pick it. And I can be in the mood to build something and not build it because I have to. So, and that that's the whole reason why we have a hobby stash, a model car stash, and a uh, surplus of of goodies that go in these things. And 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 that's what I do. I I, I always buy stuff even if I don't need it for the current project I'm doing, I always like, Oh, you know what? I can use this on another build. And I'm, I'm always thinking of the next build and, and that that's just how our minds work. You know I mean? So let, let's go ahead and dig into these things and I can show you what, what's in the, the packages. And I, and I showed you, uh, the last LS motor I bought from him and that was awesome. So, so, uh, I, and I think I've showed you a few other ones. But I never showed you these ones. And let's go ahead and take a look at these. So let's check it out. And if you haven't seen the last video I did on, on the Iceman collection stuff, go check it out. You can see more stuff that he does. But if you guys just want to see the quality of the stuff that he puts out. Um, here you go, man. So he lives his stuff on, on the, the build-up platforms, which I don't mind. They come off really easy, and that's why this is off, because he was showing people how easy they are to take off. The last stuff I ordered, I took everything off, and I just threw it in the bag. It just stores easier. There ain't much cleanup on these things. Just not really much. So, I mean, look at that. Where your U-joint uh, you goes. I mean, totally awesome. I mean, what kit part from any kit have you ever seen that had that? I've ne I don't even think I've ever seen one. This here, oh, I'm sorry, guys. This here is the the Coyote motor. Okay, it's the Ford Coyote 5.2 GT4. And this thing would be kind of cool to throw in a, a Mustang or something. Look at look at the workmanship in this stuff. I mean, you always got to have cleanup, and, and it's probably lighter cleanup than you might think. I cleaned that whole that whole uh, Ellis motor up that's in there, and it wasn't that bad. 
this one might be a little a, a little more than the other one but that's okay and look at the belt system that there is the pulleys there's two options for this so and obviously we're gonna use this we don't have to mess with this so I don't even know why this one's in here but maybe it was just part of the file so this is the the coyote motor I'm sorry if I'm moving it too much but this is the coyote motor so so let's go ahead and take a look at it, another one and look at this guys this will be in the next video so it's almost done and, and I'll give, kind of give you a sneak preview at the end of the video of it so here is the Hemi top fuel and this is kind of wild check it out look how clean that is this would be kind of cool in a Henry J or something which I'm kind of wondering if that's what I'm going to put it in I mean look at this thing this is like it's a clean print it's even cleaner than the last one and it's cool we all got to, to know the guy so I mean he's now, now there's a face to the name so so there, there's the Hemi the top fuel Hemi and you can see how, how clean these things are all right and here is the vintage blown big block Chevy with hill hillborn uh, and dominators look at that beautiful man and I I, I use uh, a different carbs but I will use these carbs these are nice carbs actually look at that it's beautiful man look at the the belt on this one it's hooked to the pulleys and this one it's it's not so it gives you options of stuff you can do Pretty neat, huh? I'm digging it. I am digging it. And look at the air, the the air cleaners on this. It's so awesome. The clean. They're, they're really nice. So this would also be nice in a Henry J. And I got Henry J on the mine again, so. This video might be a little longer, so sorry if that's not what you guys want. So this this one here is the, the uh, Chevy 572. And pretty nice, huh, guys? And again, with the, the pulleys, I, I don't know why it's like that. I'll ask Joel, Joel next time I see him. I think it's just the file. And and again, this one has a part off of it because we were just showing people how easy it is to take the, the pieces off okay so yeah that's how clean these prints are they're pretty clean and I've got this you know this this uh, camera blown up so it, it's gonna show everything but I mean in with the naked eye if you look at it it it's way cleaner cleaner and this one actually comes with decals uh, the last the, whoops, sorry. The last one I did didn't have the decals, and you had to um, detail it out by hand. So, which this I'm gonna like this. 
this is gonna make things easy. So there's the 572. So let's go ahead and show the Hellcat. Yeah, this is gonna be cool. I like to throw stuff like this into nostalgic cars. And uh, it just makes it kind of cool. Like do, do like a graveyard car style like type of build. Here, let me get this stuff out too. So here again, we it was to show people, but there's the air cleaner on this. And this one here is a little faded. I mean, I can probably call him and ask him, see if he can do something. I mean, he even told me if, if there's something you didn't like, let me know. But uh, I, I like it all. And and you know what? I like, it's fine with me. Look at that, look how clean that is. I mean, I got a lot of cool goodies, and I, I appreciate the fact that he uh, he let me have pick at what I was gonna buy. I just went ahead and bought it before uh, before the club meeting started. So so look at the transmission. Pretty nice, huh? I like it a lot, so. I like it a lot. So that's the Iceman Collections engines I bought, about five of them, so. So, now, just a little sneak preview. I'm not gonna get too detailed into it, but there's the Nova. I changed some stuff on the Nova, and I went with uh, the old style wheels, because I, I was, I wanted, uh, new in old out so that's what i was doing that's what i went for and i think i nailed it so uh i got some more detail on like the door handle and some other stuff and a couple more things to hook up in the engine uh the bottoms i pretty much detailed out and done the interior's done mostly gonna focus in here today and uh i got the back tail lights to put on still I put the grill and the bumpers on. I still got to put the 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 clear headlights in, but this should be ready for the next show next week. And I'm gonna leave Friday and uh, see what this thing does in the show. So I mean, I'm gonna take a few cars and uh, we'll see how we do. Also, the the. The Volkswagen van. I'm gonna go ahead and start that. Get it sanded in primer, maybe even paint it. But, but I am gonna start building for the show in Utah. So I'm gonna go ahead and start a couple other builds. So I have, because I, I don't know if there's a class for that van in there. So I'm not gonna really push for the van to get done. But I am gonna, uh, I, I'm gonna get it. I will. Da da da. Ba da ba da ba da ba. <laughs> I will get it done for the show anyway. I'll put it on display or something. So. uh that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Uh, I appreciate it that you guys watch this crap. I don't know why you watch this crap, but you do. I, dr I drink my coffee black. so uh, Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell, man, for the notifications. I appreciate the, the fact that you guys watch my crap. Why do you watch this crap? And uh, tell me what you guys think of these engines. Tell me what you think of this Nova, this crap. Uh, yeah, it's good talking to you guys, and we will see you on the next video, and that should be the final on the 66 AMT Nova. You guys all take care. Have a great weekend, and I will see you on the next vid. Bye.